welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks about creating transclusion directives to wrap layouts and abstract from them. Let's explore this intriguing question together. The viewer is trying to create directives for a dialogue component, which includes a title, body, and footer. They want to ensure that models defined in one directive, like dialog body, are accessible in another, such as dialog footer. This is crucial for managing form validity and user interactions. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. Let's begin by understanding the structure of our dialogue component. We wanna create a dialogue with a title, body, and footer using AngularJS directives. Next, we define our main directive for the dialogue. This directive will use transclusion to allow content to be wrapped inside it. Here's how we can set it up. Now to share data between the dialog body and footer, we need to ensure that the model is defined in a shared scope. We can achieve this by using an object to hold our data. To manage form validity, we need to ensure that the form controller is accessible in the parent scope. We can do this by defining the form name in the dialog body. Finally, if the form validity changes in the dialog body, it should reflect in the footer. Ensure that the form is properly defined and that the scope is shared correctly. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. When form validity changes in a dialog body, it doesn't reflect in other directives because each directive creates a new scope. This new scope inherits from the parent scope, but the form controller is bound only to the transcluded scope of the dialog body. To resolve this issue, you can declare a shared variable in the parent scope or use the controller as syntax. This allows all transcluded scopes to access the same form controller. By binding the form to VM, all transcluded scopes inherit from the parent scope, ensuring they see any changes to the form's validity. And guys, that's it. I hope this video has helped you to get you through to that resolution you needed. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit subscribe. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Cheers.